the Web Adventure Ride at Disneyland Paris Avengers Campus. Let's take a closer look right now. So recently I visited Disneyland Paris and of course had to attend Avengers Campus. This is a very awesome little part of the park and more specifically I wanted to go on the web adventure ride, the Spider-Man web adventure ride. Here you can see Spider-Man up on the top of the ride and it's really interactive, I mean he pops up all the time, interacts with the crowd, um, goes through, talks to people, all the rest of it. When you go through and you queue in for the ride there's loads of stuff in the queue. There's all the different people that have kind of worked on the ride and all the characters that they've created for this. And of course Tom Holland's Peter Parker is one of those characters. Now essentially the idea behind this is that they've created a sling R slinger uh, vehicle that you can spin your own webs like Spider-Man and help him on the adventure. You go through to like a, a Stark Industries lab and there's a really cool kind of 3D screen you can see at the back there with one of the spider bots moving around so it's a mixture of kind of real life stuff and then this 3D uh, video and it's really clever it really does look like the characters are up there and it's part of the um, part of the, the lab if you like. Now of course the Spider-Man ride wouldn't be complete with an appearance from Tom Holland, so he does come out with a pre-recorded thing. Now this is the same every time you go on the ride, it doesn't matter how many times you go on the ride, it's the same recording. He comes out and he basically tells you about these spider bots that they've been working on at the Web Labs. Now Web stands for Worldwide Engineering Brigade, which sounds a bit lame if you ask me, but it's... It spells out web, so I can see why they've done it. Now, the only thing that did throw me a little bit with it being Disneyland Paris is that Tom Holland speaks French. Now, you can see there, there is the translation, so they they kind of announced that he's created this translation app so that you can understand what he's talking about, but it did, you know, ruin the illusion a little bit, but not so much because the ride was very awesome. Now, in this little video, he talks about the spider bots and why he's explaining about them. They're replicating, and they keep replicating, and then they kind of break out behind him, and then they, they go to call Tony Stark, but he hangs up the phone, so they call Spider-Man instead because all these spider bots are out all over the place and wreaking havoc around Avenger Campus. And it's your job, as part of the Slinger team, as part of the web team, to go out in one of these Slingers. Here he is, his Spider-Man, when he comes back as Spider-Man. Um, to go out and basically help Spider-Man gather up all these bots. You go through and you see these slinger vehicles. They're really cool. It's it's all very immersive and it looks very much in theme with the uh, the MCU and all the rest of it. Um, but yeah, I mean overall it was really fun. Q, which is a bit of a bizarre thing to say. Now the these are the spider bots. They are the kind of main culprit of the ride. And here are some screen grabs where you can see they kind of wreak havoc all over the place. Uh, the really cool thing about the ride I'll get to in a second, but when you come out there's all the web tech, there's the web swing slingers there. Um, it's a little bit of a con because you have to buy the main piece for the attachments to work. You can also get some Spider-Man goggles which kind of have flashing lights as expressions and of course you can get the spider bots with various different attachments you can make them look like Black Widow, Black Panther or Iron Man. There's a whole ton of merchandise in the shop which was really really cool. Um, the ride itself is really really good it's definitely definitely worth a visit because you're basically spinning webs and it, it tracks your arm movements and there's four of you in a cart and it kind of adds up the different um, points and who got the most points. Different spider bots are worth different amounts of points but it's a really really fun ride and we went through it a couple of times. One thing I would suggest is to even if you're in a group to go through as a single rider because you will beat the queues so if if you go through as a single rider you won't be sat next to each other but you will beat the queues and did i buy a spider bot of course i bought a spider bot so you can stay tuned to my channel i'm going to do a full breakdown and kind of unboxing of this park exclusive figure toy that you can get thanks very much for watching please do like share subscribe and all of those things all support to the channel is very much appreciated stay tuned to the channel for more marvel and of course avenger campus content